This is Fabrizio Pilato with Mobile Magazine speaking with Jafar Hader of Carbon Inc. Uh, Carbon's an HTML5 OS. Jafar, can you tell us more about it? Sure. So Carbon, what, we, what we're trying to do with Carbon is create that native experience that people are used to on the iPad, on Android, etc. But do it 100% in the browser. All your apps, all your na your beautiful OS experience in the browser, so that you can get it on any device. So you might you might have you know you might have an iPad, you might have a Windows machine, you might have whatever with carbon you just launch your browser you log in and you get the same beautiful OS and app experience on any device okay so uh, basically this is similar to Chrome I uh, know so the Chrome web store yeah. effectively what that does is you download your app but then when you open it it opens in another browser window so it's just it's like a bookmarking service right effectively what ours does is there's multitasking there's app to app communication you know if somebody develops a web phone for example app in carbon just an HTML5 app actually so if there's an HTML5 app out there that's a web phone you put it in carbon and the call comes through it'll automatically tell the music app to stop playing so that you can you can answer the call so there's app to app communication there's multitasking and there's a whole bunch of stuff under the hood that makes it a true uh, native like OS but in the browser Very nice. could you give us a demo sure okay. so this is carbon this is running 100% in the browser so you can see we're Chrome here okay there's the home screen there's the app store, so I'll go, this is the overlay, it shows all your running applications, so you have multitasking. These are my favorites, and these are all the applications I have. If I want to drag something into my favorites, all I do is put it like that, and I can close this, and then there it is right there on my home screen now, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and run some apps. So you're running this on a Mac? So I'm running this on a Mac, it's also here on the iPad, so we have whoop, native scrolling, it's very, very fast, okay? So is it on a playbook, same kind of deal. So it's the same thing running on all the, all the different devices. Okay? We also support Android, just don't have it up here right now. Now how did you get it on a playbook, may I ask? So this is just through the browser of the playbook. We support any WebKit browser. So that's the cool part, is no matter what device you have now, all you do is launch your browser, connect to Carbon, or add it as an icon to your home screen, click on it, and you have your beautiful online OS. So if I've got one of those useless palm pads. There you go. Yeah, if it's got a WebKit-based browser, yeah. um, go ahead and do it, right? So we have right here, um, well, it walked away, but we have a, a touchpad OS, or a HP touchpad, right? They just went on sale for 99 bucks. Yeah. Nobody knows what's going on with the web OS. Who, get, who cares? Launch the browser, run Carbon, you're good. Wow. Right? So right now we have a video app running. This is just a YouTube video app, connects to YouTube. You can hear the music playing. I can minimize that. Now I feel like I want to go play Solitaire. So I'll just go play Solitaire. And I'm not that good at Solitaire. Let's see if we can grab. Oh, that doesn't work, so whatever. We're just playing here. So we're playing Solitaire. Oh, you know what? I'm going out later. I want to check the weather. I'll launch my weather app. It's right there. And they're all seamless. Now, I had a Chrome netbook for a while. Sure. What pissed me off was I couldn't do anything when I wasn't connected. Yeah. So uh, we're taking a lot of effort, a lot of painstaking effort to do a lot. And this is the advances in HTML5. We're doing a lot to do uh, in terms of caching on the device. So once you're connected and once you've downloaded apps and you use them, Carbon itself will be 100% cached on your device. So even when you're not connected, you can use it. And then if uh, the app is has HTML5 offline capability, like Amazon's Kindle Viewer, uh, New York Times app, etc., they will also be available to you offline. They'll sync when you reconnect. Okay. Um, the other thing Carbon has is, like I mentioned, it's an OS. You can have your files on here. Uh, you click a file, it'll tell you what app to open it in. Um, and uh, it's a full-blown operating experience across all devices. No more platform lock-in. You know, if the new device comes out, who cares? We'll push, you know, everything's in the cloud. So we push the new uh, updates, everything, right to your OS. Next time you log in, you get the new beautiful stuff. So who's developing apps for Carbon right now? So one of the, re the main reasons we're here, it's threefold. One is to get the word out, get people excited, talk to guys like you. Um, next one is connect to app developers, game developers, and tell them that, hey, if you're developing an HTML5 app, talk to us because it's literally, you know, five minutes you can get it on Carbon. 
right? It's no no special tricks or anything like that. It's HTML5. We get it on carbon. It's ready to go. Um, so we're looking to talk to them. And then the other thing we're doing is uh, we're looking to raise our first round of funding. We've been bootstrapped to date. We've come a long way uh, with that. So it's been a fun time. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. And where right. people can download it right now? Uh, it's not downloadable. You just go to the browser. You don't have That's to download it. a thing. Yeah. Just go to carbon.com. Carbon with a Y. Um, so you can sign up there. Uh, we're right now issuing beta invites to anybody that goes there and signs up. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna go nuts with this. Thanks very much. All right, thank you. Appreciate it.